Do you get your medicine from here? Medicamente uh, tu? My name is Rebecca Bowers. I'm an emergency medicine physician from the USA in the state of Kentucky. I read daily about the Russian siege of Mariupol underneath the steel mill there. We've been reading for weeks and weeks that this might happen, it might happen, it never did. Um, and that morning we turned our phone on and there it was, it's done, they're, they're invading. And it hit home, hit a nerve with me, I guess. So I found out through uh, Global Medical Staffing, um, which is a subsidiary of CHG. When I found the opportunity to come over here, I immediately, as soon as I read the email, I said, I've got to figure out how to do this. So should we smile? <laughs> My name is Katarzyna Gontarczyk and I'm founder of the Foundation Institute of Innovation, who is running this refugee shelter Gościniec. Uh, Gościniec in Polish means a house that everybody is welcome. We were inviting mostly women with children. We were really selecting people who really need help, that they are from places which are bombed now and they have no other place to stay. We are distributing some toys, some crayons, stuff to the kids that come by today. So they're really liking what we brought them. We started off the day actually helping people sanitize their hands and also get masks as they were coming into breakfast. And then in a little bit, we're going to play with the kids, which has been my favorite part of this whole trip. Um, these kids are in such a hard situation, yet they just want to have a chance to play, whether it's with crayons or crafts. We did friendship bracelets the other day. Um, I really enjoyed just being able to bring a little bit of light and a little bit of happiness to them. And then a little bit later today, we're also gonna give out eyeglasses for people who need readers to see, um, which has also been a meaningful experience because some of the women could finally read again uh, after not being able to do that for a while. And they were also just feeling better about themselves being able to pick out a pair of glasses that, that look good on them. So we spent some time uh, before we arrived making lots of different kits in our team meetings and our summits. So we brought over hygiene kits, which have things like combs, toothbrushes, socks are really much in need over here. Hi, my name's David Tong. I'm a pharmacist from Sydney, Australia. G'day, mate. Yeah, my, my initial reaction is obviously we are, have empathy naturally inside us and to, to think about what these people might be going through. Um, it, it kind of broke my heart and you wonder, you know, what can I do? We're not all superheroes, but we, we like to play our part and, and that's, I suppose, the, the calling uh, and that's why I'm here. So there's a Polaroid camera that we brought and a lot of these families have come here without any belongings, especially pictures and things like that. So. We were taking the opportunity to take pictures of families together and then give them a Polaroid instantly for them to have so that they do have pictures of when their kids are little and things like that. My name is Alona. I'm here as a refugee from Ukraine. This is a big help, really the big help because they're very kind, they help people, people are very thankful for them. I think we should be united, yes, in order to help. Thank you very much to America, to American doctors, yes, to Utah. I see maybe 30 to 40, 50 patients in a shift at home. You know, the, the times that I'm actually thanked is it's pretty rare. The times that people really get emotional about what you've done for them is almost non-existent. Uh, in certain circumstances, of course, it, it happens. But here, I, you know, I give antibiotics to somebody or ibuprofen to somebody and they're you know, they're crying. I think there's really only one word and that's fulfillment. I feel like we've come in, we've made an impact. I'm very grateful to work at CHG. I feel like they're an incredible company and it's not without notice. Like the people of Ukraine need us, they need the support and the fact that CHG has given the people and the time and the money is like, it's really incredible. CHG puts their money where their mouth is. They, uh, they believe in putting people first and this is evidence of that. Oh yeah, absolutely. I will, I will never forget this trip. You have a certain skill set 
use it, come give of yourself, contribute. It's very much appreciated. You will get something soul fulfilling out of it. I have worked at CHG for about five years and I've heard about these trips and I've heard people come back and talk about how meaningful the experience has been but never had an opportunity to do this myself. And I don't think I've ever felt like more connected to our mission as a company. It was just really super inspiring and something I'll remember for um, the rest of my life.